Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see today's setup is a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, I mostly do lifestyle vlogs um, but today I just thought that you know it would be nice to kind of um, do a sit down video and talk about my postpartum journey um, as you can tell from the side of this video. Um, so I am 5.5 months postpartum. Uh, my son Neil was born in May 2020 in the middle of a pandemic and I just wanted to share um, how we have been doing, um, how our first time being parents is going and how Neil is doing. So yeah, let's get started. So there are a few things that I want to talk about and I have everything written down in my notebook so I don't forget anything. I hope it's I hope the video doesn't go on for too long because um, I mean I have a lot to talk about but um, I'll try to keep it brief and concise. Um, so first of all um, how Neil is doing. So Neil is um, he is about five months um, like 5.5 months now. Um, he was born on 16th May and he's turning six months in November um, on November 16th so um, yeah I'm kind of excited about that um, and he's doing really well um, he has been gaining weight and you know it's been really nice to see my own baby grow up I mean I sometimes um, people ask that you know um, do you like how do you feel giving birth to a baby or you know how was the whole experience and I was like and I just say that you know um, it sometimes I mean it's such a conflicting um, thought I mean not conflicting but I mean, sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, it was just yesterday that he was born. Um, I remember each and everything, like what happened when I got in the hospital, um, then what happened, and then after what happened, and then when he was born, and then after that. Um, but sometimes I just feel like, oh my gosh, it's all such a blur. I mean, it's not really a blur. I remember everything, but it just feels like so long ago. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I know it's kind of... Um, I'm contradicting myself, but um, that's how I feel. <laughs> um, but yeah, but um, he's doing really well. Um, he had his five month, no, he had his four month appointment in October, um, and then he has a six month appointment in November, um, two days after my birthday, which is great. Um, and um, he's doing really well. Um, he has a little bit of a tight neck. Um, it's because of how he was in the womb um, so there is a condition called Tori Colis um, I'll put it in the description bar and again I mean I'm not I this is what my understanding is is that um, like he was born with kind of a tight neck so because of the way that he was in my belly like I, I remember the doctor telling me when she was checking me and she was like oh his head is turned a little bit to his right um, and I remember I mean we knew like whenever uh, he was sleeping we saw him always like he tend to um, move his head to his right um, which is getting a lot better now because of like moving his head to the right he also was like developing a little bit of a flat head but um, with time it got a little bit better and he is not doing that anymore it's getting a lot better uh, but he does still have a little bit of um, tightness um, in his I think on his right side so um, we started doing kind of uh, like a little bit of physical therapy every week um, for him to help with that um, all right and then another thing that I wanted to talk about was like how we have been um, doing like you know we're first-time parents I'm a first-time mom so how has the whole um, adjustment been and that too like in the middle of a pandemic um so honestly like before i gave birth i was like oh it's, it shouldn't be uh, that much difficult like I, I didn't anticipate how much painful it was going to be like after giving birth um like for straight four or five weeks i couldn't really do anything i remember um first like first or second day when we got home um we were feeding Neil with the bottle so I was pumping and then um while I was pumping I remember I was I was so cold in the middle of in like in the middle of the summer um so I it, like I was in in jackets and I had like our portable here just to keep myself warm um so yeah I was really tired I was really weak um but then I like I kind of understood what I needed um, but it took me some time to um, figure that out but yeah now it's it's all it's all better now but yeah it was kind of an adjustment to um, understand all those different things that happens with your body um, 
and then um, another thing um, that I mean it's I think a lot of people talk about this is like you know um, getting back into workouts or like getting like balance back to how you were pre-pregnancy or getting back to your pre-pregnancy weight um, and a lot of people like well not a lot of people but a few people that don't have told me that oh you um, like you know you have bounced back really well or it looks like you're back to your pre-pregnancy weight first of all I'm not I'm not at all back to my pre-pregnancy weight in fact I don't even know how, like how much I wear it now because I just I don't care about that right now um for me that is not a priority um I mean I am eating what I want when I want it's a little bit difficult to eat when I want um which I'll talk about in a little bit in a little bit but um, I'm just not thinking about getting into workouts. I see, you know, um, women get into their workouts or their workout routine um, as soon as they get their um, okay from the doctor like six weeks or two months in. Um, I tried doing it. Um, I just couldn't do it. I mean, I didn't have any energy or any time to do it. And then we also moved houses when Neil was, um, I think, two months. Um, so it has been a lot of, um, like, we have been a lot busy this year just in general um, so yeah that's kind of like a little bit low on my priority list right now um, but something that is um, high on my priority is my mental health um, I mean I, I read and I see so many people so many women go through um, postpartum depression and um, like things you know around like that happen in your body after giving birth so um, that's something that I'm always um, cognizant of and I um, I like to take care of that first and I also started my full-time job um, a few months a few weeks um, back and it has been a lot more hectic and a lot more difficult to just manage everything um, Neil he needs a little bit more of our time and uh, just because he's growing so we need to spend more time with him to play with him so you know he's developing the way he should um, and then I also um, like since I started work my husband was already working he got like about I think a week or two which is not really great from his company but i mean you know what can you do um but i got like i had about three months of um fully and then i took an extra 1.5 months like one and a half months um so i took about four and a half months of maternity leave which is really good actually um but then i started work a few, few weeks back and it has been a lot more difficult like i said to uh, manage everything um i mean it's um it's a lot of i mean i don't get any time to myself at all in a day and sometimes I just feel like oh my god what am I doing I mean I have no time for myself I'm not doing anything for myself um, but then I mean as soon as I see my baby's face I'm like it's fine doesn't matter um, but um, yeah it's like what a routine is like I wake up in the morning give him a feed and then I have my uh, breakfast and then I get a little bit like just freshen up eat my breakfast he wakes up again feed him again then I like log in for my work and then I'm working then he like then I feed him again then I mean I do a little bit more work again feed and then lunch so sometimes it happens at like I mean after I have my breakfast at like 9 a.m. in the morning I'm eating my lunch at like 2 30 or 3 p.m. in the afternoon which all which is almost like evening um which is not good but um that's what I'm saying I mean it's um it's it has been a little bit of an adjustment and it's definitely a little bit difficult and I'm some, I'm, I'm someone who like stresses a lot when I'm when I'm working um like if there is any simple like even a small thing I just stress too much so it's um it's a little bit difficult for me personally to um just focus on everything and also focus on myself um so I'm, uh, I'm just I'm trying to make myself learn to that it's okay to let a few things go, not have control over everything, um, and uh, you know, just to not stress about every each and every situation or each and every um, problem that comes at you. So it's um, I mean, it's okay if you're um, if you're not able to do everything. It's because not, nobody is, and uh, it's fine. It's okay. So yeah, that's kind of the um, you know the concise version of um, how we have been doing, and in short, um, it's been wonderful um, taking care of our baby and taking care of my baby in, in this time, and it's been nice actually just um, to bond with him, and um, you know, in some ways, I feel like it's uh, it's nice that I have been able to spend that much time with him just myself. Um, because this time nobody's going to share it and it's just mine this time of his life is mine and only like 
we have shared it with him, um, which I kind of like. Um, I know it's selfish, but well, I, I can't really do anything. I mean, um, I've been really nice if, um, you know, uh, if somebody, like if our parents could come and, and meet Neil and because we have just been doing like FaceTimes with um, with our parents and nobody has been able to visit him. Um, so it, 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 it is kind of um, sad that they are not able to um, see him in this stage of his life, which I'm sure like every um, uh, grandparent um, dreams of. So um, yeah, I, um, I just hope that, you know, when all of this gets a little bit, like the situation gets a little bit better, um, um, he can see and meet his um, grandparents but yeah this is kind of how we're doing and um, let me know um, if you are also in the same situation as I am if you're pregnant get if you have given birth or if um, you know if you're going through any of these emotions let me know in the comments down below and I'd love to chat I'll see you guys soon